What up, folks? Cajun Blaze here, and today we got a, a package to open up. Got this in the uh, mailbox at my P.O. Box 22, Broussard, Louisiana. This was sent to me by uh, 2009 Major Tom. First name is Jack. Jack's a cool guy. We uh, communicate every now and then through uh, YouTube, and uh, he sent me a package. I've cut out his personal information so that you can see the package and not uh, revealing any, any of his uh, personal stuff. So here we go. Today we're going to use the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, the one with the Cajun blade stamped right there on the blade. This thing slices like you wouldn't believe. You got me in frame here. Well, I thought I was going to be able to do it like that, but I'm just going to cut this whole top off. This is one of those uh, packages that have that foam insulation inside to help protect it. And I know what he sent me. He sent me a message, so I'm so looking forward to this. This is exciting. I'm going to bust open this envelope here. Wow. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. Can you see that? Comes in a little box. Let's see if I can open it without tearing it up. It's like the hinge is in the back. It's a cigar cutter. Check that out. So, I'm going to take this nice cigar cutter. He said he's been having this thing for about 10 or 15 years never used it because it looks so cool that is fantastic 2009 Major Tom thank you so much I guarantee you I'm gonna use this one because <clears throat> the one I have in my pocket today is a plastic one very similar but just plastic I do use my um, sidecar cutter a little bit you know, some people, they don't want to use these these nice, expensive cigar cutters because they're afraid they might lose them. But those same people say the same thing about carrying a $100 blade, too. Oh, I can't carry a $100 blade because it's going to uh, it's gonna get lost. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So without any further ado, I have uh, the Perdomo Reserve. 10th anniversary. This is a Maduro. This one was sent to me by the Riz 52. Another great YouTube guy. Very, very generous. We'll pull that out of the cellophane wrapper here. Man, that smells good. Very nice. So I'm going to try out my new cigar cutter. Got just the very tip off. Worked perfect. Knock off some of these little raveling pieces here. Sometimes when you put it in your mouth, you get some of that leftover burnt ash. So we'll do a little toasting here. Got my Zycar torch. Get ready to light this bad boy. The Riz 52 sent me three of each one of the Perdomo cigars and I've already my brother and I shared each of one like this. So this is the last one of that particular brand and let me tell you it was good very good once it's toasted It's cut, it's toasted, and it's lit. And now we're going to sit back and enjoy.
for me this is kind of strong I'm still new to cigars so I'm getting used to this good draw nice draw I was uh, uh, sharing a cigar one of them little bitty uh, Gloria cigars they look like little cigarettes the uh, uh, crazy 45 cat sent me I was sharing one of those with my uh, one of my employees who is a uh, cigarette smoker and uh, let me tell you I, I may post that uh, on YouTube it was it was funny he was uh, he was trying to smoke the cigar like it was a cigarette and trying to light it like it was a cigarette and uh, needless to say he was coughing a lot so I may or may not post that it just depends He was uh he was needing a cigarette, so I gave him one of those little cigar cigarettes. They uh they're real thin. Uh, I think about a 10, 10 ring gauge. Very nice. Very very nice. The Riz 52. Thanks, Jack. At uh, 2009 Major Tom, I will cherish this cigar cutter for a very long time. Hey, I'm gonna enjoy this cigar a little more. We'll come back and we'll holla at you later. Y'all take care. Thank you. Enjoying this cigar. Probably about 15 minutes into it right now. You know we got to show you some guns or knives while we're sitting here enjoying a cigar. And today we're going to show you the uh, Taurus PT-1911. This is the one that I had Duracoated. It's got the combat green at the bottom and the combat black at the top. Got rid of all that white lettering right here that said Taurus. And then white lettering over here that said PT-1911. And uh, also changed the grips out. Put some uh, Pacmar uh, grips on it. The rosewood grips with the uh, rubber finger grooves. Talk about a fine weapon. Uh, I will show you that it's not loaded. No magazine in the chamber. It's empty. And man, I've been doing some range uh, shooting with this. And I tell you what. Um, you know, they say it's the shooter and not the gun that, that hits the target. And while that's true... Um, if there's a gun that you have and the, the, the comfort of the grip I feel is, is good in the hand for example when I when I grip this gun and I, I put my fingers around it and I got it in my hand just the comfort of this gun has made me be able to shoot it a lot more accurately and um, it's the shooter it's not the gun so by me being able to hold it and be feel more comfortable with a good grip. I think my uh, my accuracy has improved. It's not perfect, but I think it's improved a whole hell of a lot. And uh, <clears throat> I've been sh I've been to the range twice with this gun since I got it back, and uh, it's just a phenomenal piece. It's uh, super smooth. I was worried that uh, when I first got it back, I had to wait a week to sh actually shoot it. And I was worried because it was real tight on the slide. And uh, the guy, Jace, who uh, did the work for me, he even said that, that uh, because it was so tight that he was worried that it would get hung up because he had to do some filing on the inside of the slide. But after, uh, after shooting it and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I cleaned it real good with some ballastol and uh, lubed it up real good, used a couple of little drops of Militech on there. And its slide is just silky smooth. It's a tight fit, but not too tight and not too loose. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's a great gun. I love it. So, that's my Taurus PT-1911. Beautiful, beautiful gun. In my opinion, you might not think it's beautiful, but I sure do. And I love those grips. I had those Punisher grips on there. And uh, 
you know, that was kind of gimmicky. At first, I really liked them, and after a while, I, you know, it is what it is, and it's always good. It's a strong cigar. Man! Whoo! Yeah. I like it. Let's get that. I think that's what they're talking about when those cigar smokers uh, re do the review on the cigars. Leaves that uh, that that peppery. To they talk about the peppery taste. How it kind of burns in the back of your throat. Maybe that's what they're talking about on on the cigars when it burns. And this one burns a little bit. It, it burns. <laughs> All right, it's dark now. Still enjoying this Perdomo cigar from the Riz 52. Excellent cigar. It did go out on me. I let it sit for a few minutes. I had some things I needed to get together. We're uh, grilling some hamburgers on the uh, grill tonight. Watching a little uh, Dexter on uh, Showtime. Dexter, he's uh, he likes knives. Not quite the same as I like knives, but that old boy, he's got a lot of knives. And we're sipping on some uh, some red wine. So let's get up and go check out the pit. They want to see what we got on the pit. Come on. We got it smoking here. We're doing some hamburgers. Cool. Look at all that smoke. Let that clear off. We got some burgers here on the grill. The famous Cajun Blaze burgers here. Man, they are mouth watering. ATF, if you're watching this, you better turn it off right now, buddy, because you're on a diet. No burgers for you tonight. Got some little hot dogs. Fun food for the little ones. They're not so little anymore. And while that's cooking there, I'm going to throw some more of these. The last three on the pit. And we'll shut it. Let it sit. And I'll continue to enjoy this uh, cigar. Oh, I almost forgot. Cajun Blaze always says, not A, not B, but see ya!